Auto Briefing. It is Friday, June 5th, and I'm here to take you guys to today's workout. Uh, let's go ahead and start with your warm up. You guys have one round of 50 singles, 50 mountain climbers. You guys have 12 reverse lunges total, and then you guys have 12 weightless good mornings. Let's go ahead and go through those real quick. So you guys have your singles. If you guys have a jump rope, go ahead and give me one jump to one rotation of your rope. If we don't have access to a rope, you guys can give me quick steps. You guys can have an object in front of you, and you guys are gonna quickly shift your feet and tap, okay? Um, make sure those feet are quick and you're leaning on the balls. I'm oh, sorry, the, the mid foot, a mid sole of your foot. Um, next, you guys have reverse lunges, or sorry, mountain climbers. So you guys are gonna be in your mountain climbing position, which just means hands are gonna start just outside, uh, your feet are gonna start just outside of your hands. You'll jump your feet up and then switch, keeping your butt low, heel close to hand. You guys can also steal knee to chest. Okay. Next, you guys have um, your reverse lunges. So you'll take a big step back. Back knee's gonna touch the ground. We'll go ahead and come back up to the top. Okay, back knee touches the ground. Go ahead and come back up to the top. Focus on keeping your torso vertical and on your way down, making sure your front knee stays stacked on top of that ankle. Okay. Uh, next, you guys have your weightless good mornings. So feet are gonna be underneath your hips. You're gonna have your hands behind your head. Chest is gonna be up and out. Shoulders are gonna stay back. You're gonna have a slight bend to your knees. You're gonna push your hips back, getting your stretch back in the hamstrings and the butt cheeks, and then drive through your heels and stand all the way back up. You're going for a nice stretch back on that posterior chain, your hamstrings and your glutes. Uh, next, you guys have another round of 50 singles, and then you guys have 50 mountain climbers total, and then 12 front round reverse lunges. So, if you guys are working with a barbell, you guys can work that. You guys can work a dumbbell, um, a kettlebell, kind of whatever you have access to. But you're going to get that dumbbell up in that front rack position, okay? If you're working a single object, <coughs> excuse me, um, you're going to go six on the right side and then six on the left side. The elbow's gonna be up nice and high, take a big step back, back knee touches the ground, and then switch, okay? But you're gonna go six um, alternating within one side, and then six alternating it within the other side. On your front rack lunges, make sure those elbows stay up nice and high, okay? Next, you guys have barbell good mornings. Um, you guys can also do kettlebell, or you guys can do dumbbell good mornings, but you guys are gonna hold your object close to your chest, same concept. Bend your knees, push your hips back, get a nice stretch back to those hamstrings, open your hips up at the top, okay? Back stays super straight. All right, um, last but not least, you guys have another set of 50 singles, 15 mountain climbers, and you guys have 15 tempo deadlifts. Um, you guys can, again, use barbell, kettlebell, or dumbbell, but your tempo is going to be one, one, and one. So you're going to start at the top, you're going to, for one second, lower yourself down. You'll have a one second pause at the bottom, and then one second up, okay? So if I'm working with my kettlebell, I wanna make sure that my feet are set underneath my hips, feet are facing forward. I'm gonna have my shoulders up, back, and then down. Back is gonna stay nice and straight. Belly buttons pulled back towards your spine, okay? And I'm going to lower myself down for one, hold for one, up for one, back down for one, Hold for one, back up for one, okay? So that's gonna be your tempo. So we're just kind of breaking it down to make sure our movement pattern stays correct. And again, what I'm looking for, shoulders stay up, back and down, back stays straight. I'm looking for that hip hinge, the low to be in the hamstrings, the butt cheeks, slightly in the quads, a tap on the floor, and then maintain that position all the way back up, okay? Okay, so we're gonna take it to part one now. We have tempo deadlifts. Your tempo is gonna be Two seconds down, one second pause at the bottom, two seconds back up, one second pause at the top, okay? Um, with this guy, uh, sorry, yeah, with this guy, you guys are gonna have three sets of 10, okay? Um, you guys can, if you're working a single object, do five on one side, five on the other side. Uh, just make sure you guys are working even sets here. Um, but again, your tempo deadlift, we're gonna go one, two, hold for one at the top, and then one, Two, hold for one at the bottom. One, two, hold for one at the top, back down for one, two, hold for one at the bottom, okay? Focusing on lat engagement, core staying nice and tight, 
back staying straight, and load going to the butt cheeks, okay? Once we're done with that, you guys have part two. You guys are going to be doing five rounds of 12 library deadlifts, and then 50 double unders. You're going to rest 30 seconds between each round, okay? What is a library deadlift? Think of being quiet, okay? You want to make sure your tap on the ground has no sound, okay? We are going for nice and controlled reps here. Um, again, nice and quiet, okay? So, it's going to look like this. All right, you guys have uh, 12 of those guys and then double unders. If you guys have them, awesome. If not, we're gonna scale the single unders. Make sure you guys double those reps. We're gonna go for 100 single unders. Um, and then you guys will be giving me five rounds total. So no three to five rounds. Um, just make sure you guys are getting through five rounds total, all right? If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, make sure on those deadlifts you guys are evening out those reps on your hands with the weight. Um, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day.